Welcome back everybody, this is Brandon Ivy with the Brandon Ivy Show and we're coming to you with a new tip. And this tip is called the steps to making an effective video. Now this is very important because a lot of you are wanting to brand yourself and you want to go out there and make videos and, and you want to be careful about how you portray yourselves in a video and make sure that your video is effective. Now I'm going to speak from the standpoint of that you're just putting yourself in front of the camera, not recording your screen, not all the tools and software. You know, we've done many trainings on all that stuff, what you need. But I'm going to talk about now that you've got the camera or, or the webcam and you're sitting in front of it, what are the steps that you should follow to be effective? Number one, you got to brand yourself and have something catchy that separates you from everybody else. Have a very cool intro or a theme that has your name or your company or something on it so that when people see this they know it's all about you. So have an effective name branding campaign going on it. There's many things you can do. I mean if, if you're not good at graphic design, which I'm not, then you can outsource and have somebody create an intro for you. But get yourself a, a catchy intro, maybe a little music theme. Try to use royalty-free music. Royalty-free music, if you use music in any of your videos. That way you don't have to worry about any type of copyright laws or infringement. Next, there is no right or wrong way as far as how you want to dress in your video. Be try not to be something you're not. You want to come across as smooth, as comfortable, and as relaxed as possible, you being you. For me, nine times out of 10, I have a suit on. Not only is that comfortable for me, but it's an image that I want everybody to see, that I'm professional, that I'm about my business, that I'm not here to play games, that this is not a hobby, I'm a shark. I'm here to make some money. So that's the image that I want to portray. So in most of my videos, I have a suit on. But then there's a couple of videos where I'm not in a suit. I've just got regular clothes on. And I do that to show that there's a different side to me as well. I'm not just a suit. I like to have fun. I like to hang out. So that's the image I portray. But also, make sure you have a nice background going behind you. If you don't have a nice area to go to, get in front of like a white wall or a screen or something or go to the park or somewhere. You don't want to be in your home and you've got clothes laying around in the behind you. You've got a huge fan moving behind you. You've got the kids running around behind you. You know, that that's not the image you want, you want to portray. Sit in a garden or, uh, you know, a nice scenery, nice environment. Environment is everything. It's more people are watching more than just you. They're looking at everything in the picture. So that all is promoting you. Watch your language. I know you might be the type of person who likes to curse every other word, but not in the video. Be at least as much professional sounding as you can. Because here's why. When somebody watches your video and they're like great information but <laughs> I don't see myself ever signing up with that person and then they're gonna go and find somebody else to sign up with them if you have an effective video you don't have to be on page one of, ya uh, of, of YouTube or Google I've got so many members of my team making videos now and they're very good at at the tracking and the backlinks and blogging and keywords and all that stuff that I still don't I haven't figured out yet and so I think I might only have one video on the front page if that and I don't even think I'm the one who uploaded it somebody else uploaded it but it's me it's my video I might be on the second or third or fourth page yet I still get a lot of people that call me up that want to work with me that say they saw my video. How did you find my video? Oh, I was just doing some searching on YouTube. And how? I'm not even on the front page. Oh, I saw a couple of other people's videos, but then I came across yours, and I like the image that you portray. I like your style. 
So if you've got an effective video, it doesn't matter if you're on the front page or not, people will come across it and will want to work with you. If you're on the front page and you don't have an effective video, then people, you're going to be the first thing that people see and then they're going to go right around you to somebody else. So having an effective video is just as important as making sure eyeballs can see it. And that's the tip of the day. How to make an effective video. Also have your contact information on there so people can contact you. <laughs> Here's one thing I don't do. I don't put my contact info in the video. There's a lot of people who do that. The reason why I don't do it is because there's a lot of people out there who do that. I want to be a little different. I put my contact info in the description of my video. But I always say my name in the video. Because one, I like the, te the team members love to use my videos for their things and I tell them use my video and put your contact info on there. But for other people who like to just kind of want to steal my stuff and, and, and use it for their own benefit and when people watch their video they still hear me say my name and then they go ahead and google my name or youtube my name there's a lot of times that's happened but i don't put my contact info in the video you can it's not i'm not saying it's wrong it's just i just want to be different but it does work but if you have it in your description then that works just as well as well all right, that's the tip of the day. Thank you for watching the Brandon Ivey Show. And remember, live one dream at a time. Bye-bye.